Toyota released a new version of their Mira. It's a hydrogen powered car. Basically, this vehicle has a tank on board that carries hydrogen. We're committed to being carbon neutral by 2050. Toyota has spent the last 20 years researching a novel alternative, hydrogen. Previously, the initial element was used to power an electric motor, but Toyota is currently developing a hydrogen engine. Is this the engine of the future? As a pioneer in hybrid and plug-in hybrid automobiles, Toyota laid the groundwork for the present electric vehicle boom. Despite its heritage, the Japanese company has been reluctant to fully embrace the all-electric trend. Toyota's first 100% EV, the strangely named BZ4X, had only sold a few hundred units as of mid-October last year, and the Japanese automaker does not intend to increase manufacturing until 2025. Toyota's president, Akio Toyota, reiterated the company's gradual adoption of all-electric vehicles. Toyota sold more cars in 2023 than ever before, but electric vehicles had little influence on the increase. Of the 11,233,039 automobiles delivered by the Japanese corporation, only 104,018 were electric vehicles. Last year, battery EVs accounted for only 0.926% of Toyota, Lexus, and other subsidiary vehicle sales. Given this, the business believes combustion engines will continue to be needed. During an address to 200 business managers and executives, Chairman Akio Toyota confirmed intentions for a major engine development project. His commitment is consistent with his declaration at the 2024 Tokyo Auto Salon when he used the opportunity to tell everyone that we're going to keep doing engines. During the session, Toyota stated that battery EVs will never reach a 30% market share regardless of technology breakthroughs. As a result, patrol automobiles, hybrids, and fuel cell electric vehicles will account for the remaining 70%. The company's chairman also declared that hydrogen-powered combustion engines may provide a solution. Diesel wasn't even discussed. What a time to be alive. We've reached a stage when the unveiling of a new combustion engine is surprising. In 2024, manufacturers are mostly concerned with revealing plans for the new EVs. Some even claim that ICE automobile manufacturing will halt in the future. For example, Jaguar, Chrysler, Lotus, Aston Martin, Bentley, Buick, Cadillac, Rolls-Royce, Genesis, Maserati, Mini, Opel, and Volvo have pledged to go all-electric by the end of the decade. Even Toyota's Lexus brand has vowed to stop selling automobiles with combustion engines by 2035. Toyota views things differently, believing that battery electric vehicles cannot be the single solution to achieving carbon neutrality. Akio Toyota believes that the charging infrastructure is far from ready, noting that a billion people live without access to electricity worldwide. Toyota sells automobiles in those places, so going all in on EVs would make little sense. Toyota is actually one of the traditional manufacturers still relying on hydrogen technology to salvage their industry, despite obvious evidence that battery electric vehicles are winning the fight for zero emission transportation. They have been developing liquid hydrogen powered racing engines in addition to hydrogen fuel cell automobiles. Liquid hydrogen may also be kept at atmospheric pressure, which eliminates the requirement for high pressure storage tanks. Aside from burning hydrogen, this prototype engine's combustion process is quite similar to that of a petrol engine. Aside from these benefits, three key issues with liquid hydrogen combustion engines were difficult to address. The majority of the issues relate to liquid hydrogen, which must be maintained very cold, below minus 253 degrees Celsius, to avoid vaporization or boiling away. Now, how does Toyota deal with engine heating? Toyota's patent-pending water-cooled hydrogen engine is designed to overcome the hydrogen heat temperature problem. The Japanese brand aimed to reduce the temperature of hydrogen vehicles by selectively injecting water into the combustion chambers. However, this is not your average water injection. It is a regulated system with valves at the core of the action, each cylinder's intake port. These valves operate as gatekeepers, accurately controlling the time and volume of water that enters the cylinders. The Japanese manufacturer uses precise timing in addition to the water injection. The efficiency of this injection is greatly reliant on the timing of administration. The overall design features dual injection timing, which allows water to be delivered whether the intake valve opens or shuts. This adaptability is crucial since various engine running conditions require different cooling systems. When driving in more moderate circumstances, however, injecting water as the valve closes allows for more controlled and progressive cooling, maximizing efficiency while conserving water. With this dual timing capability, the engine can dynamically adjust its cooling strategy to fit your driving needs. Toyota's prototype vehicle's gasoline pump had to be replaced twice during a 24-hour race, each time taking 3.5 hours to complete. 
the hydrogen fuel pump wears out rapidly and becomes inefficient since oil lubricants cannot be used because they contaminate the hydrogen fuel. When the pump components are chilled to this severe temperature, it becomes exceedingly difficult to maintain a strong seal between them. Even though liquid hydrogen has a higher energy density than compressed hydrogen gas, hydrogen combustion cars require big fuel tanks to achieve a reasonable range. The prototype Toyota Corolla had a 150 liter tank and could go 65 kilometers between filling stops. To demonstrate this issue, Jason calculated that a Formula One race car would require a massive 700 liter hydrogen fuel tank to travel nearly the same distance as a gasoline powered vehicle. Keeping liquid hydrogen at minus 253 degrees Celsius without it boiling away is also difficult over over prolonged periods, which is why Toyota designed their prototype primarily for racing, where the fuel is burned rapidly before it is squandered. Toyota's hydrogen combustion engine was based on the 1.6 liter turbocharged three cylinder seen in the GR Yaris and GR Corolla. Of course, it has been modified to use hydrogen as fuel. This modification comprised the installation of a heavy duty fuel tank to store the hydrogen under high pressure. That component was removed from the Mirai. Other design upgrades include stronger connecting rods, reinforced valves, and valve seats, and gas fuel injectors. The prototype, like the ordinary Corolla, accommodates five people and their luggage. The Toyota hydrogen combustion engine has several benefits, including those above the experience provided by the EVs. Among these is the fact that the hydrogen ice has a longer range and a much faster refueling time. In fact, the GR Yaris H2 can be refueled in just 90 seconds. Aside from the benefits to the driver, there is also an advantage in terms of cost, material scarcity, and environmental friendliness in that it does not require nearly as much rare metal such as lithium or nickel, which are crucial in the manufacture of batteries. While this car has a battery, it is much smaller than an EV. The Toyota Corolla Cross H2 concept vehicle is now being tested in the real world. Winter road condition testing was done in northern Japan. While hydrogen cars based on fuel cells are currently available and in development, hydrogen combustion engines will provide automakers and drivers with a new technology choice. As energy shortages worsen and the price of green hydrogen falls, many experts predict that this type of zero and low carbon emission vehicle will soon have its time while EVs reach their peak. Using hydrogen to power an internal combustion engine differs from hydrogen fuel cell technology in which gas from a tank interacts with oxygen to generate electricity. According to the US Department of Energy's Alternative Fuels Data Center, fuel cell vehicles generate only water vapor and warm air. In contrast, hydrogen ices create emission. Hydrogen engines emit just tiny quantities of carbon dioxide. Comments: The engine manufacturer warns that the engine might emit nitrogen oxides, NOx. The Alternative Fuels Data Center also reports that hydrogen ices are less efficient than fuel cell electric cars. Although Hyundai, BMW, and Toyota have built hydrogen fuel cell automobiles, others in the industry remain skeptical. Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, tweeted in June 2020, fuel cells is equal to full cells. And in July of that year, hydrogen full cells make no sense. Talk about being vocal. In February 2021, the CEO of Germany's Volkswagen Group, Herbert Deiss, tweeted, it's time for politicians to accept science. He argues that green hydrogen is needed for steel, chemical, and aviation applications and shouldn't wind up in autos. It is far too costly, inefficient, sluggish, and difficult to deploy and move. After all, there are no hydrogen cars in sight. However, most of them were failed designs or were deemed too impractical. Between 2005 and 2007, BMW built a hydrogen combustion car known as the BMW Hydrogen 7. During that period, BMW discovered that it only took 10 to 12 days for the whole contents of the liquid hydrogen tank to vaporize with the car parked, rendering it unsuitable for passenger vehicle use. Even if these issues with liquid hydrogen could be resolved, burning hydrogen is inefficient when compared to charging a battery electric car. Overall efficiency for hydrogen combustion engines is comparable to petrol and can range from 20 to 40% whereas electric vehicle efficiency is normally 77%. Battery electric cars are analogous to wind and solar power in that they will remain a far cheaper and simpler alternative, even if the issues with hydrogen are addressed in the future. If you like this video, make sure to check out our other videos. Feel free to subscribe for more turbocharged content. Please let us know if you found the video useful, and we'll see you in the next one.